Hey guys, it's DJ, and today I'll be presenting to you the top five trade ships in Trade Lands Budget Edition. So, what constitutes a budget edition? Well, pretty much any ship which has a doubloon cost of under 100k doubloons. Um, that does not include stuff you need to make it, so like materials, engines, whatever. And some of these ships will tend to be lower level as well, so newer players can make these ships. So anyway, let's get into the list. In number 5, we have the Marlin. The Marlin is a level 6 trader with good speed, um, decent armament, having 8 heavy cannons, which is not too bad for a level 6. Um, and it holds 15 cargo. It's speed 9, and um, its sail type allows it to have a very good speed crosswind. Um, obviously not so much upwind, but still pretty good over the board. Um, does not sail most efficiently downwind though. If you want to be the fastest in this boat, you have to go a little bit off the wind. But if you do get chased by pirates, which I mean when you're trading in private servers or, you know, empty servers anyway, you can fend them off with your heavy cannons if you have a crew for them. But anyway, that is number 5, the Marlin at 15 cargo. Not too bad for a level 6. In number 4, we have the Cutlass. Now the Cutlass is a little bit of an upgrade from the Marlin. It is level 9, however, it has 16 cargo and 10 max speed. Now that speed will allow you to trade even faster, which means you can sell more frequently, which is, you know, means you make more money. Now the Cutlass is obviously fast, so it can outrun pirates. It has decent armament of 4 heavy cannons. That's not the best, but for its small size, um, it's not too bad. Anyway, that is number four, the Cutlass. Coming in at number three, we have the Beaver. Now, the Beaver is a level eight ship, which has 18 cargo, which is pretty good for a level eight ship. It's also not too expensive, costing 46,000 doubloons, 530 wood, which isn't too difficult to get. If you're trying to save money, then obviously go with oak. The Beaver's also speed 9, so it's decent speed for a trader. 18 cargo as well, so you're holding quite a lot at decent speed. And it has a decent armament of 6 heavy cannons. And its sail type also allows it to go pretty decently crosswind and away from the wind. And even though you'll be trading downwind, it's always nice to have the capability of going crosswind, just in case you see some pirates coming after you. Anyway, that is the beaver at number three. At number two, we have the Mastiff. Now the Mastiff is, was what I think it was the first, um, you know, newer trader we received in the last couple years, two or three years that has had the substantial amount of cargo after the Atlas. So it has 22 cargo and is speed eight. So it's, it can haul quite a bit for a, you know, a level 10 ship that costs 88 grand and has 10 medium cannons. You're not really going to get yourself a crew for that unless you're trading on a Mastiff with a bunch of people. But if you're doing that, someone's bound to have a better trading ship anyway. It's speed 8, so it's definitely not a fast ship by any means, but it does have 22,000 health. So you can withstand a good battering, give you enough time to sell cargo. But by that point, they would have hopped on your ship and started stealing it anyway. But there it is, the Mastiff at number 2, with 22 cargo. Now, for an honourable mention, we have the Goose. Now, everyone hates on the Goose, but there is no reason to hate on this beautiful boat. Now, the Goose holds 18 cargo, just like the Beaver. It has 8 speed, which is a little bit slower than the Beaver. However, this is what level six or seven so you can get this at a low level it's very cheap 34 grand and the advantage of the goose is that it has this a stern gun which goes right here now it is a light cannon but it will you know put a bit of fear into some noob pirates if they ever come at you and plus look at this thing so it's just beautiful the beautiful curves of the goose um, anyway, let's let's move on from the goose. Honorable mention. It's not a bad ship. Don't be shied away from it if you're low level. Now, at number one, the best budget trading ship 
in my opinion, in Trey Lands, is the Grouse. Costing exactly 100,000 doubloons. It's a little bit more expensive, costing 940 wood and 240 iron, so it ain't cheap. But it just comes into the budget. This is like top of the top. This ship holds 20 cargo, however is speed 9, which means you're making more money per minute um, than you will do with the Mastiff, which is 8 speed. Now the Grouse has 6 heavy cannons, which is pretty good for a trader of this calibre, which means, you know, you only need like 3 people on your ship if you want to fully man it, and you've got heavy cannons at your disposal. It also has 2 stern heavy guns, which is amazing. It's very underestimated how useful these can be when um, pirates are chasing you from behind. You can just blast them with the arse blasters right here. But yeah, that is the Grouse coming at number one. Very nice ship. And if you would like to know what helped me choose, very good tool that I used to help me, you know, sift through all the best ships and choose what one could go where. I urge you to take a look at World of Nations website where he has a list and that's actually a chart of um, the tradability of certain ships measuring how much cargo they can or how much money per minute they make so it takes into account speed and cargo capacity and also um, how easy it is to you know trade your money on the dock whether you, you know your ships cumbersome slow turning that all those th things are taken into account I will link the website down below in the uh, in the description Go check it out. It's got a bunch of other tools, price guides, and it's just good. So just check, just check it out. Just check it out for the for the sake of world of nations. I'm sure he'll be very very happy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you'll subscribe and stick around for the high end edition where we talk about the best trade ships in trade lands with no price limit. I'll see you then.